Studio J Bone, Bonafide Main Act. A unique name for an unlikely artist. I guess it was a silly thing that it was imprinted in my head uh, when I was younger, and I saw a lot of artists that had these monikers, and I, I kind of thought that was part of being an artist. The name has created a conversation of its own over the years. This is titled Make a Stand. I had a quite accomplished artist one day challenge me on it and didn't understand it at all and actually wondered if I was ashamed of the name my father gave me. <laughs> and I said no. Jay Sawyer isn't hiding his name, his unorthodox entry into the art world, or who he is. Well, how the hell's anybody going to know who you are? You know, it should say Sawyer on there. I so I got an idea there's a lot more Sawyers out there than there are J-Bones. Born and raised in Rockland, Maine. I went to Maine Maritime Academy, got it out of there in 83 with a degree in engineering. J-Bones sailed as an engineer for five years. It was high risk, high reward, the whole romance of shipping, that whole mysterious thing. Before settling in Warren and beginning his own welding company. But I was very observant of things around me. Art was always something on this Mainer's mind. And even at work on the ships, the steam plant, and the, the pipes that the steam flows through, and the valves it goes through, and everything is so hydrodynamic and aerodynamic. It's, for it to work really efficiently, it ends up that it's a beautiful piece. When he was 40, j -Bone started to trade out welding jobs for welding art. Well, one of my mentors told me, uh, he said, you know, if you worked at this, you could be one hell of a sculptor. At the same time, other big life changes were happening for the budding artist. I knew I had a drinking issue. I knew that I enjoyed it way too much and didn't treat it with any respect whatsoever. Not only did art start to become a passion, it also started to fill a void. When you let go of that habit and that whole lifestyle, you're sort of like, like now what? And things that just look a lot different. J-Bone has never looked back. To me, that sphere was the ultimate form. Spheres are prevalent in his sculpture garden. I think that with these common materials, uh, the horseshoes and railroad spikes and, and stuff like that, uh, it's not intimidating at all to somebody that's not real acclimated to the art world. His well-known spheres can be seen at the Portland International Jet Port and in Rockland. But it's the project that J-Bone has been thinking about for the last five years that may be the most important work he's ever done. Since October 5th of 2015. The sinking of El Faro. The Coast Guard now says the ship sank as it was caught in the middle of Hurricane Joaquin last week. 33 people died in the worst American shipping disaster in the last 35 years. Four of them were Mainers, all graduates of the Maine Maritime Academy. It's 33 souls. And it didn't matter what uh, your position was on the ship, you know, you, you, you were a living human being with a family and a life. Captain Michael Davidson, Mike Holland, Dylan Meckland, and Danielle Randolph. With the, the large contingent of Maine Maritime family here and people tied to the maritime community, I, I think they, there's a sense of a need for this here. An Alfaro Memorial already exists in Jacksonville, Florida, which was the ship's home port. Here's the two uniforms. So this is made out of eighth inch steel. One male, one female in full salute will be placed on top of a piece of granite with the 33 names inscribed. The harbor is a backdrop. Uh, the breakwater, Rockland Breakwater Lighthouse. All the Penobscot Bay. The material inspired him. So this will all turn into the, the uniforms. The wrinkles were just, they spoke out. And you could tell them they wanted to be something. But it's J-Bone's deep ties to the shipping industry and for what these families have gone through that are inspiring this tribute. So it's memorializing the crew, which I feel is pretty important. Right here in this area with the very big Maine Maritime Academy family, and the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of sailors and retired sailors. Maine will never forget them. Jay Sawyer will make sure of it. You know, to help with the families as they're, they're still healing from this and it, it probably forever will be.
Really looking forward to seeing that when it's complete. Now, Jay has visited with the families of all four Mainers who died on El Faro. All, he says, have given their support for this memorial. The Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport is serving as the fiscal sponsor for the project, and they are helping to fundraise. Sawyer's budget is $135,000. He says the two-uniform salute is just the first phase of what he's hoping to create as an El Faro memorial in downtown Rockland.